Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Hope you're well. Today we are making some lime steak fajitas. Oh my gosh. Fajitas, Mexican food in general, one of my most favorite things in the world. And these were gonna be chicken ones. Uh, I put a poll on Twitter. I was waiting in the supermarket and steak was winning, but then chicken suddenly won. So sorry, we're going for steak. You're gonna love this. Let's get going. I've already done a little bit of prep work. I've got three different colored peppers here that I've sliced into matchsticks, uh, sliced up some mushrooms. They've gone into a nice big old bowl together. So make sure you do that. We've got a big old rump steak right here. Oh yes. And you can make this vegetarian if you like. You could use courgettes and aubergines and char grill, all those. And also a huge bowl. That's not a bowl. Why did I say bowl? I don't know. Uh, just a whole stack uh, of tortillas, which we're gonna warm up first of all to get our griddle nice and hot. So as I say, we're gonna get this griddle pan on a medium flame, uh, get it nice and warm. So before it's warmed up, we're gonna stick in uh, our tortilla like this, just to get some nice uh, line marks on it. It'll also warm them through and give a nice little charred effect. So while these wraps uh, are warming up, getting some char marks on, oh yes, uh, loving that. Uh, Boston has already clocked that there is steak in the room and I think he's gonna be excited. There will be some scraps for him, no doubt. Alrighty, once done, just lay it down there. Repeat those steps over and over until you've got as many tortillas as you need, but we'll keep that pan hot once we're done to work on our veg. So just before we add these vegetables to that hot griddle pan, just gonna add in about a tablespoon of olive oil and just mix it through to coat it, lubricate it, which will help it fry even quicker. It's gonna be so good flavors in that bowl. We'll do our steak quickly as well. So this again is a little bit of olive oil. Well, our hands are gonna get dirty here, folks, just so you know, but you're gonna feel as one uh, with the steak. A good grinding of pepper and some lime juice on top. Oh yes, really get that lime squeezed all over it. And one last thing before we get our hands on, this is some smoked paprika. It's about two teaspoons of that. I'm gonna rub it in, get all that flavor in on there. Maybe a little bit more lime juice if you want. Oh yeah, and if you want, you could marinate this overnight for even more flavor, but once it's nice and stained like that, it is exactly what we're looking for. Both of these pans are on medium flames then, so the griddle pan, we're just gonna tip those vegetables in there. They're gonna just sort of cook around and fry and shrivel up, so don't worry about loading the pan too much. We're just gonna keep it moving uh, from time to time. You can probably hear a light sizzle already from the heat already in there. And this pan is where the steak's going in. And in goes my steak. I'd normally prefer it medium rare, but Cook it to your liking. This combination of peppers with mushrooms and onions is one of my most favorite things in the world. So easy to do. We're gonna blister those peppers and fully soften up the mushrooms and onions. Super good. A Little bit of extra lime juice on that steak before we flip it over. Oh yes. These vegetables are gonna need about another five minutes to char up, which is perfect because our steak is now done. We're just gonna take it off the heat. And the most important thing is letting it rest. So we'll put it over here to one side. And if you're cooking more steaks, carry on my friends. Right, so there is our medley of charred vegetables. Looking amazing. That is gonna taste so good. Remember with color comes flavor. That's really important. So over here, a little accompaniment for it is some sour cream uh, simply in a bowl. Gonna get a handful of freshly chopped coriander in there. Great on some lime zest as well. We won't put any lime juice on it just yet. We'll wait for that when we serve it up. A Little bit of pepper and a mix through. And that'll be an amazing little sour cream accompaniment. I love that word, accompaniment. So all I'm doing with my rested steak is just cutting it into nice uh, little strips. I've cooked mine sort of medium rare, but if you wanna cook it all the way through, make it well done, uh, especially if you've got kids that get a bit freaked out by stuff like that, feel free to do it. Just before we build these and have a taste, if you didn't know already, I wanted to tell you about a channel that I do every Friday called Barshans. There's a new episode every Friday uh, with Stuart Ashen, AKA Ashens. It's kind of like a comedy slash entertainment show and we do them in bulk really, so nothing really affects this channel and it's doing really, really well. Uh, soon we're gonna be having the support of YouTube as well. So if you haven't subscribed, there's a link up here and down below. Uh, that's it really, go check it out, but let's, let's build these. Mm. Here we go then folks, so we've got one of those char guild wraps and I'm just laying down a nice little base of our sour cream with lime and coriander. And you get a load of those steak strips and just shove it in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, part of the uh, charred vegetables on top. Really go to town on it if you like. A little sprinkling of fresh coriander again on there. Oh, so, so good. And a little extra lime juice just to refresh it and bring it back to life. That my friends, is looking good, but also the awkward moment where I need to stop now and take a picture for the thumbnail. Ah, oh, the paparazzi duties are now done. 
it's time to eat this thing. I think a bit of steak just fell on the floor and Boston does approve. Here we go. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is lip smackingly good. I've probably got some all over my face. What I'm loving about it is it's like light and refreshing. There's hardly any like saltiness in there. Really sort of zesty and feels alive, if that makes sense. Really hope you give this recipe a go. If you do, don't forget to send me a picture and let me know down below what you want to see next. Please check out the Barshans channel and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you again next time. Oh.